Are you ready to manifest your deepest desires? Change your life now. And I mean, why wait for tomorrow? Why wait for the Messiah? Why wait for the Guru to come and enlighten you to really live your deepest desires? In case you didn't know, you are meant to be living the most epic, the most exciting, the most amazing life ever. But I know that growing up, many of us, we were indoctrinated, we were taught that our imagination is not good, that we should stop daydreaming, that we should follow orders and be content with having a paying job and a roof over our heads. Well, I think that's bullshit. We're not here just to make a living, get married, make kids, get a nice car, a house, and die and leave the money for the ones to come. I truly believe we are here to live the most exciting, epic journey ever. Each one of us, yes, if you're watching this, that includes you. I don't care where you are right now, how you feel right now, but each one of us, everyone on this planet has a mission to fulfill and when we forget to fulfill our mission we will start to see the signs of anxiety depression stress because that doesn't mean that God doesn't love you that doesn't mean that you're sick it means that your body your higher self is giving you cues to tell you hey wake up hey I'm gonna give you some pain I'm gonna make your house burn down so you come into the understanding that you have to turn on, you have to switch on. And if you are ready to manifest your deepest desires, if you are, okay, Jose, I'm ready to live my life, to live my dream, pay attention because this secret I'm gonna share with you, actually it's not a secret, but many people don't even know about it, really changed my life. Everybody talks about the law of attraction, okay? We know the law of attraction is like, ask and you shall receive ask and you shall receive so while when i learned this law this new way to hack my reality i was asking i was like universe i want this money universe i want to have this amount of people in my retreats i want all these things i wanted i wanted i wanted but i realized that things were not really working as i saw in the movie the secret have you found yourself in the same situation i know for me it was like okay universe like I'm asking and I'm not receiving what's what's off here but because in this journey of inquiry I started to understand that it's not really the universe fault it's not God that is being very punishing to me or it's or that doesn't love me or that I'm just unlucky it was probably something from within so I started to really inquire I, st I started to learn I started to study more ways to tap into the abundance that we all deserve and that we are all entitled on this beautiful planet earth and that's when i learned and i stumbled upon the law of vibration and i've talked about this in other videos but the law of vibration is not only for abundance it's literally and you can take my word by word literally the law of vibration is the law that rules all other laws on this universe and the law of vibration states that that which you vibrate, pulsate, your frequency that you are tuned into, that's what you will experience in your life. In simple words, whatever vibration that you hold in your body, in your mind, in your thoughts, in your heart, that is as much as you will be able to experience in your life. And how does this work? related to the law of uh, attraction and related to manifesting your deepest desires today. So I'm sure you have some big dreams, a vision. I'm sure there's some things that you really want right here, right now. Is it money? Is it love? Is it money and love? Is it a nice house? Is it to live in a beautiful place? Whatever that is, it's okay. You deserve whatever you want. But the problem is in wanting. Whenever you tell the universe, I want a million dollars, then you are stating that you don't have a million dollars, that you want something outside of you. So what happens is that you keep pushing anything you want, you keep pushing it away, you keep pushing it away, because 
you are telling you the universe you're holding a visual image you're holding a vibration in which you acknowledge that you don't have that and you want to call that in so I change the want for the welcome because I notice that by changing this word and this idea and this emotion of wanting into welcoming I was opening myself to much more than I could ever imagine because when I wanted something it just kept moving away but when I welcome something I'm, it's like I'm ready I'm prepared actually I'm really good where I am but I welcome more abundance and I welcome more friendship I welcome more love I welcome more nature and this shift in my consciousness had a rippling effect in every aspect of my life because I was no longer waking up in the morning and meditating thinking about all the things I didn't have I started to shift my vibration into a state of gratitude and as I stated before whatever you pulsate to that's what you will call into your life so I started to be more interested in being in a state of gratitude than really looking to what I want to manifest and I started to vibrate to gratitude and I started to understand and be calm and be tranquilo like the, we say in Spanish uh, at peace with being okay where I am having a lot of gratitude for what I have but being very excited to where I'm heading and where I'm going and this all is vibration at its best I'm tuning in my frequency into gratitude and gratitude is one of the most powerful energies in the world so imagine owning that energy into your body and allowing your body to vibrate to gratitude then I give thanks to the universe for everything I have because I'm not going into a state of scarcity I'm not going into a state of everything I don't have I give thanks for everything I have and it also allows me to remind myself of all the accomplishments of all the beauty in my life and then I started to go into where I know I'm heading not what I want there's no doubt of where I'm heading it was just a matter of time and by elevating my frequency through gratitude through giving thanks to the universe through knowing where I'm heading guess what the universe was okay you're in a good state you're in gratitude so your frequency elevates you know where you're heading that creates like a thing you know when you get a notification in your cell phone that created the synapses and synchronicity started to happen much easier in my life and I'm sharing this personal story with you to tell you that it is possible that you've been trying trying to manifest the life of your dreams first of all by trying we don't try things we do things second by coming from a place that I'm in a bad space and I need to go to a good space I'm in a space of scarcity and I need to go to a place where I have more abundance and three, maybe you don't even have a clear idea, a clear vision of what is that which makes you excited in the future. And just like a captain and a boat, if they don't know the destiny of where they're going with the ship, the ship will end up adrift in the ocean. And this ocean is your thoughts, and this ocean is external influence that you will become much easier to influence if you don't have a clarity of what is important in your life where you are excited to head and have full trust that it's already happening but all of this will never be able to be possible unless you tune in into the power of vibration so I want to share with you an experience because words are just words and knowledge is just potential power but for me it's all about meeting our words with actions and most definitely in this case with an experience so I don't know where you're watching this in your couch you're sitting up maybe you're in a patio maybe you are somewhere in a bar wherever it is make a pause sit up straight or stand up straight and I'm gonna guide you through a brief and effective meditation to realign your vibration so sit up straight, stand up straight, connect to your breath, and just observe your breath how it comes. I always love to start 
my day with breathwork because through breathwork I'm able to understand my current state and I'm able to adjust like if I had valves the inner and outer pressures so just like that observe your breath and feel where you at right now is your body heavy do you feel energized do you feel excited or are you worried about your present and your future keep observing your breath inhaling through the nose exhaling through the mouth 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 keep your eyes closed and if you are in a public space it doesn't really matter this is the best way to practice when there's distractions around you go inside you go inward connecting to your breath in and out at your own rhythm and see how your body starts to relax see how you start to release any tension through your exhalation and through your inhalation your body is feeling more rejuvenated it's feeling energized it's feeling at peace and with that being said inhale peace exhale through the mouth stress inhale strength exhale any laziness any stress inhale the beauty of the world exhale any doubt continue on your own inhaling and exhaling inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth continue this for five more rounds in and out really making sure you put all your attention into your heart center in this action you're bringing all your awareness into your heart into the center of your chest and while you finish this last round make a promise that you will not move your attention from your heart center doesn't matter what you hear doesn't matter what you feel you keep all your attention in your heart center and now let's increase your vibration tune in your frequency so you can keep claiming all the abundance all the love all the opportunities and possibilities you deserve as a sovereign being of light fear heart and now connect to three things you are grateful for today what are you grateful is it the gift of life is it the opportunity to wake up and have the possibility to do whatever you want or is it because of your family your friends all the abundance of food you enjoy waking up with a roof over your head being able to share your gift with other people whatever you are grateful go through three things you are grateful but this is the trick don't only think about them feel the emotions in your body every time you go through one of the things you are grateful for feel your body rippling with this energy of gratitude tingly sensation moving all through your body all the way to the tips of your hands and your feet you start to feel butterflies in your stomach as you start to enter the state of unconditional gratitude now keeping your eyes closed take a deep inhale through the nose hold your breath exhale through the mouth inhale through the nose hold your breath exhale say ah and now i want you to start using your imagination inside your forehead what i call our cosmic screen use this space in your head to start to imagine what is really exciting for you where are you going three years from now where will you be living who you will be hanging out with how much are you going to be earning how much will you have in the bank what kind of foods would you be enjoying how will your body look and feel and i want you to really be detailed on this imagination start to put all the details what kind of bed sheets i do that i put my bed sheets with egyptian cotton waking up with fresh breeze not too hot not too cold maybe there's the smell of fresh coffee in the background 
or the sea breeze, put all the details and hold that in the back of your forehead. This is the canvas where you are literally creating the map of your destiny. And now we're going to add one extra ingredient. Start to feel excitement. Start to feel the excitement you will feel like if you were already living there. If you were already waking up there. If you were already enjoying all those things you are imagining. I am getting really excited. I am getting really motivated. Because I feel all these emotions. Because I see myself walking into my dream. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Hold your breath. Exhale. <sighs> Feel your body relaxing into that vision. And we're going to open our eyes in the count of three. And when you open your eyes, you're going to make a promise that you will see the world through the eyes of that person that is already living their dream. Three, two, one. Open your eyes. And feel this sense of shift in vibration. It's like there's a higher tone of octave in whatever you see. Because you have already achieved everything you envision. But you're in this time and space. And you just have to keep connecting to that vibration, to those thoughts, to those feelings and emotions. And soon you will find that you will be waking up in that place. Because if you can hold that image in your mind soon you will be holding that image in your hand you dear one you deserve nothing but the best and if you are excited to learn more how your breath work can enhance your life how breath can enhance your life down below i have a free link for you to download a guided breath practice so you can wake up every single morning and envision your life strengthen your body your mind your spirit and you can prime your day to have the best day ever. No excuse to have a mediocre day. No excuse to have a so-so day. You deserve the best. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other channels and my, and my um, playlist where you can find really awesome content. And most of all, don't forget to give love to yourself, to give love to the world. And get excited because your life is changing now.